Hey guys, how's it going? Um, yeah, so as you can tell, uh, I'm still here at home. I'm gonna be leaving for LA tomorrow morning. Well, that's really gonna be a fun drive to make. Anyways, I'm in that stage where everything is packed, and I'm trying to remember all the things that I'm going to forget until I get like 15 minutes away from my house and then remember, and then have to turn around and drive back, effectively wasting like 45 minutes of my time. But this trip was really cool. I found a lot of my old stuff that's really cool just to have, and I'm totally bringing it back with me. Like this Michael Jackson Greatest Hits DVD, can you see that? Yeah, I own Michael Jackson. He does the moonwalk in this twice. And this really cool book of Star Wars and Indiana Jones, like, what is it? Concept artwork? Look at all that. Look at that. Rancor. What's up? And then this thing. I don't even know what this is. I thought it was like an alligator space toy or something. I mean, look at this. It looks like teeth. But then I realized he's not an alligator toy. If you pull on this, then like laser eyes, like, ah! But overall, it's been a really great time being back here at home, and I was gonna share a story with you of how I rediscovered my collection of Pokemon cards, but I couldn't find them in the garage. It's a storm in there. So I thought I'd tell you guys what I did tonight, which was mostly just watch Sherlock Holmes with a girl. But I am gonna caution all you guys that are thinking about watching movies with girls. When you pick the movie, don't pick The Running Man. For those of you who don't know, The Running Man was a 1987 film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger where he had to run away from the bad guys. Yada yada yada, be really badass, and in the end he gets a girl and all the bad guys die and go to hell. I put this movie on thinking it'd be really fun to watch a really bad movie, but I got like what, like three minutes in? And there are all these prisoners, including the governor, that are trying to escape their internment camp of sorts. And in very battle royale fashion, one of the prisoners gets much too close to the fence that triggers their dog collars that hold a modicum amount of C4. And it looked something like this? And that's when she said we had to stop the movie. So yeah, please take from my experience, learn from it, and you will actually be one step closer to actually being cool. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great weekend. It's the Death Star. I got four payments on my car. Headed over to Hammerhead at Mos Eisley Bar. He's a bar back. He used to carjack, but just goes to show you how you can get back on the right track. As for me, that's not an option. I can't say that with more clarity because me going legit would be like Jar Jar on speech therapy.